One of the most important things standing between you and a deadly infection is your immune system, the intricate biological defense mechanism that protects your body from harmful invaders. And there's a lot we can do to give our immune system a helping hand. Your immune system is made up of two divisions, the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system, each with its own battalion of specialist cells and defensive weapons. The innate immune system is the first line of defense. It's made up of cells like the scary sounding macrophage and the less scary sounding neutrophils. They patrol the bloodstream on the lookout for anything that shouldn't be there. When they detect an intruder, they neutralize the threat by engulfing it like Pac-Man, spraying it with deadly chemicals, or suicidally expelling their DNA and throwing it around the invader like a net. Then there's the adaptive immune system, which you can think of as the immune system's special forces, elite agents trained to fight specific enemies. B cells fight bacteria and viruses by making Y-shaped proteins called antibodies that neutralize an invader or tag it for attack by other parts of the immune system. Then there are T cells. These coordinate and carry out attacks on infected cells. Killer T cells are the frontline soldiers, trained, as their name suggests, to destroy the enemy. Helper T cells call in reinforcements by sending out chemical messages called cytokines. When we encounter a disease for the first time, it takes a while for our adaptive immune system to learn how to fight it. But once it does, it creates a memory, allowing a fast and brutal response to future infections, sometimes neutralizing it before you even notice. This is the premise of vaccines and the reason why you only get diseases like chickenpox once. If you want to know more about vaccines, hit the link at the end to see another video all about them. Or subscribe to New Scientist and we'll give you 20% off if you use the code SAM20. Your immune system works so well that most of the time you don't even notice it. But as you get older, it gets weaker, making you more susceptible to infections. That's a key reason why people over the age of 70 are more vulnerable to diseases like COVID-19 or the flu. This decline happens to all of us, but it can be accelerated by lifestyle factors like smoking and inactivity. Obesity is also linked to a faster decline in immune potency. Although the strength of your immune system is linked to your age, a 40-year-old can have the immune system of a 60-year-old, or on the flip side, a healthy 60-year-old can have the immune system of a 40-year-old. Scientists have recently developed ways to measure your immune age, and fortunately, it turns out it can go down as well as up. And there are some simple ways to turn back the clock on your immune system. As we get older, some of our immune cells start to misbehave. Take neutrophils, those early responder cells. As they age, they get worse at hunting down intruders, blundering through our tissues and causing damage. The root of the problem is an overactive enzyme involved in their sense of direction. Dialing down the enzyme rejuvenates the neutrophils so they know where they're going. And there's a simple drug-free way to do it. Exercise. One study found that older adults who get 10,000 steps a day have neutrophils as good as those of a young adult. Exercise also has benefits for your T cells. Before they're released onto active duty, T cells mature in a little known organ called the thymus gland in your chest. The thymus deteriorates over time, resulting in a drop off in the numbers of T cells. Physical activity has a huge impact on the rate of this degeneration. A study found that amateur cyclists aged 55 to 79 had T cell counts similar to those of much younger people. Another key factor in your immune age is your gut bacteria. There's good evidence that poor gut health can be a cause of premature aging and that a healthy microbiome can reduce your immune age. Eating a varied diet rich in fiber, plant matter, and fermented foods can help maintain a healthy community of gut bacteria. Your body has this highly evolved, intricate defense system that does an amazing job of fighting off disease, even into old age, but only if you look after it. I don't know about you, but I've been less active than usual lately, so I'm seeing this as a wake-up call. Looking after your immune system is a no-brainer, and it's as easy as a walk in the park. If you want to see more videos like this, give us a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell.